Hello students. Today we are going to start with a new chapter, chapter 11, Human Eye and Colorful World. In this chapter today, we are going to study only the structure of human eye and along with the structure, the function of the human eye. Let us begin then. You can see here, this is a structure of human eye children and uh, we are going to see one by one the things that are labeled. One by one, we are going to see the function of the human eye. This is the first point, cornea. Cornea, you can see here, this is representing the outermost layer. So, this whole layer, this represents the cornea and it is the outermost layer of the human eye. And the function of the cornea is to protect the eye from the dust particles. Also, it uh, uh, participates in the process of refraction. So, first level of refraction happens from where? From the cornea. The second point we are going to uh, have here is a pupil. The second point is the pupil you can see is the centermost part and if you uh, look uh, have a view of your uh, the front uh, view of your eye then this black portion that you can see children that uh, represents what pupil and this black portion it contracts or it expands whenever the light is very uh, intensity of light is high or intensity li of light is low how it happens now this happens because of the iris okay so iris is a dark muscular diaphragm you can see it here a line has been drawn at the top and at the bottom this is known as iris and the function of the iris is to control the size of the pupil so what does pupil do pupil actually it regulates the amount of light entering in the eye children when you see in a very dark room at that time the eye uh, the amount of light which enters in the eye that needs uh, to be monitored and therefore uh, pupil widens up it expands but uh, whenever we go out in a field at that time the pupil contracts because that much amount of uh, high intensity light is not required for our eyes as we have number of light receptive cells which are very sensitive so high intensity light should not enter very dim light also should not enter in the eye okay so cornea is over iris is over pupil is over the next one is the crystalline islands this is the islands we simply name it as islands or we know it the name is crystalline islands now so you can see here the nature of the islands is what it is convex in nature and it is more convex toward the back portion and it is flattened in the front portion children the function of the cornea is to converge the light rays which is coming toward it and direct it to the retina so it focuses the image on the retina and the space that you can see which is between the eye lens and the cornea that is filled with a liquid which is known as aqueous humor it is saline in nature and it is uh, uh, participates in the refraction again the next is the ciliary muscle now this part is very important ciliary muscles as you can see these are the two points which are marked in the diagram ciliary muscles this is responsible for holding the islands in its position and also it plays a very very important role that is to see the near object and the far object the islands need to adjust its focal length and that part is being done by the ciliary muscles the next part is the retina retina you can see it acts like a screen where the real image is formed the nature of the image will be real of course because it's a convex lens and the image which is formed is an inverted image formed on the retina this whole of it is known as retina retina has two types of cells rod cells and cone cells the rod cells uh, identify the intensity of light and the cone cells they identify the type of colors the next part is the optic nerve you can see retina one more thing children retina plays one more very important role is that the data the uh, picture which is formed here the image which is formed here at the retina at this particular part that needs to be sent to the brain okay like for example if you see a uh, uh, apple if you see a red color apple i only acts like a camera okay understand this that i acts like a camera it does not have a thinking capacity to understand what is the color of that thing uh, that you see in front of your eye what is the uh, shape of it 
and is it an apple is it a fruit is it a vegetable that thing is been understood uh, that thinking portion has been done by the brain i just captures the image and it directs it to the brain now that particular part that is a uh, signal is been modified and then it has been transferred into a electrical signals and those signals as uh, trans as modification has been done by retina so retina identifies the type of color retina acts like a screen retina identify the intensity of light and retina also transfers the signal uh, into an electrical signal now that signals which needs to be sent to the brain that is been sent by the optic nerve this particular portion that you can see they are bunch of millions of nerves over here and these are being connected to the brain so whatever data has been collected at the retina they are been transferred into electrical signals and they are been uh, transferred to the brain for its further processing so these are all the points in between you can see here the retina and the eye lens the space which is filled over here is again filled with a liquid which is known as a vitreous humor and the refractive index of vitreous humor and aqueous humor remains the same they have the same composition they only participate in the refraction the one more point which is included not in the ncrt but we do include in the structure of eye that is a blind spot children at the at this particular point where all the uh, this cells nerve cells they are leaving the eye and entering the uh, brain at that particular point is a junction point we say and at that particular point if any ray meets at that point then image is not formed okay image is formed at whole of this part whole of this portion that you can see here this uh, uh, forms what retina but this particular very small point size point Uh, that acts like a blind spot any rays which reaches there it does not identifies anything it does not transfer the signal and therefore nothing is been uh, receive if any light is uh, fall light falls on the blind spot so with this we finish the structure of human eye you can uh, one more thing we can see the front view of the human eye this is the front view of human eye and you can see here this is the iris and this is the center black portion this is the pupil the pupil if you uh, stand in front of the mirror and if you uh, place a torch in front of your eye you will be able to see that the pupil shrinks immediately that means the pupil has the capability to shrink as well as to expand also and that is how it regulates the amount of light entering in the eye these dark color lines they are the dark uh, muscular diaphragm which uh, controls the pupil size of the pupil and this is the diagram pencil sketch that you need to draw in your copy it should not be colored please copy them and uh, this will be provided in your pdf file so children go through uh, the topic in your ncrt book this uh, particular portion please read it again and again underline it with the pencil and complete your work as given in your attached file complete your work and write it in your fair copy In our next class we will study more about the functioning of the human eye till then have a nice day thank you